events is that uh, we are standing here and in at most three orders of entry mass, while in the population only nine orders of entry mass. Okay? In a sense, it's back to the huge Reynolds number in a way, uh, but that, that's typically one of the huge challenges in this field is this enormous range that we have to cover. And there is typically a place here for very extremely large scale simulations, probably much beyond. If you want to, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Well, just one, one time. That's this one here. That's the time to follow this simulation. How do I define a cloud? Okay, uh, we just the, uh, set up a uniform density for the density for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's the distribution of clamps in identified from the previous simulations. So essentially, you set up a density threshold. What are? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You set up a density threshold, and then you use the final friend algorithms to reconstruct the structure, and then you can go through the past. So it depends a bit on the definition you can choose. But when you change the and typically, you change the density threshold, uh, you find that the statistics are pretty much independent. Actually, there is the same problem in the observations. Uh, if you look at this, in this curves here, the number of observations, you have two different families of plants depending on the trace of values, but the two tracing different materials. Okay. Um, okay. Now, more to the, the detail of the child itself, the structure in my phone, one of the important uh, issues which have been revealed recently uh, by the show is that the child are extremely thin and uh, And the poles turned out to be awesome, maybe not always, but also observing filaments. And I think how they would be straight out that there may be a direct link between uh, the core mass function and the initial mass function. So if it could suggest that understanding uh, the core and therefore the filaments is extremely important in the context of the mass But in, in any case, uh, the sedimentary structure is striking. And uh, if you want to understand how the cloud works, we certainly have to understand how the filaments are generated. And what we'll call uh, uh, puzzling interpretation, a uh, puzzling part, is that uh, I think the width of this, of the filaments, um, seems to be almost constant. I mean, the width dimensions of the almost two orders of magnitudes. Okay. This is very surprising in terms of this is very surprising because usually to one that's not good. To be usually to one that's good. So that's uh, very strange. Uh, and um, uh, so the combination of the of these two uh, facts uh, push me to try to understand better the filaments, and then the, the, therefore having the sample running for this kind of simulation, so effective to 248 cube, uh, and this is hydro, this is uh, MHD, and uh, so the comparisons between the, the two, just by I to start with, uh, clearly show that the, uh, the MHD simulations is much more filamentary than the hydro simulations. So again, uh, the idea is to have in mind as changing uh, observations to analyze what is there, to expand the filaments, and to see what can be. Yeah. No, no, I can come back to that. Yeah, they are definitely part. You have a distribution as usual, but uh, this seems here are the filamentary. I just show you the next slide, so I can extract it. Yeah. I'm going to say that also in, in, in the minutes. Thank you for this um, So you see that the hydro clams, okay, so some of them are kind of filamentary. I didn't try to treat you, so that's, that's one projection, but they the And that's the kind of object you can find in a simulation, in a simulation. Those are the most extreme, but you can see how extreme they are. And the most basic as a 
the most thing we see is as uh, any community put it out is that if you look at that, we see the America match. So if we from the structure, they are clearly not resolved in the simulations. Also, the, the, the dynamics is, is quite large. It took out the year or so. And if you look at this part, if you see sequences branch by branch, okay, so this side is solved, but branch by branch is not. So it's still the match. So that's clearly uh, asked what's generating scale. And just before addressing the questions, I wanted to show you the statistics to again answer um, any questions. So this is the, uh, so that's extracting the clamp and computing the inertia matrix. And then you have the free eigenvalue, so you can include the intermediate of the longest divided by the so that intermediates, but the distribution of that. So the, the sheets, uh, sorry, the seal will be here, here are the sheets, here are the uh, products, and here will be the products. And uh, clearly you see that the related uh, series are still more fundamentally, so you see this ratio being shifted. And you have extreme guys that you don't see here, which are clearly uh, being into the category of slides. So you have lots of sheets in the MSD case, but much less than the type of case of the industry. Uh, okay, back to these questions of uh, why, what said this thing? I mean, as I said, in the ideal image case, uh, we see that the numerical solutions, uh, which means that if we are solving uh, or running a much higher resolution simulation, you, you lens with shrinks, and actually I check that. I, I run higher resolution, I, I, I saw the lens shift. So, uh, typically there must be something uh, to set this length, if you trust the observations. And um, it will be some kind of non ideal MSD effect. The one which um, is probably larger at the scale in the so called ambitual diffusion, which um, comes from the fact that the ions are uh, attached to the metric line with the very good observations, uh, but the, uh, the ions uh, are very I mean, the lens refraction is very small, I can say it's seven or so. Uh, so they are not very the neutral, uh, attached to the field by the collision sort of the neutral, so for the ions. But so there is a shift between the neutral and the field, and um, there are various ways to treat that. Um, uh, Richard and his colleagues have been using the so called heavy ions approximation because the issue is that the density of the ions. Is that 10 to the minus 7, uh, the density of the most one, which means that the atom speed is just 10 to the minus 10 to the few orders of energy larger than the velocity, the atom velocity of the most one, which made the problem totally uncomfortable. So, the only way to treat that is to neglect the inertia of the ions, and therefore it gives you a sort of super order, and it gives you the equations, which is not exactly a diffusion as you see, but it's you know, that's called diffusion because of the super order. And um, the question is, is the quality responsible of the film tweets, which I recall you may or may not have big consequences uh, at the end of today on the kind of before the documents. So to try to um, answer that question, we have been running again uh, out of three simulations, or even the quality decisions. Um, this is ideal image D, uh, this is uh, in the quality decisions. So you see, the effect it has is that one aspect because uh, the issue is really to solve uh, the scale, the typical scale from a local diffusion which is below the okay? So it's not to get rid of all the numerical diffusion and there is at least one decade in K space which is totally dominated by numerical diffusion. So we really have to go to some of those. Uh, so you see there is a smoothing, okay, the clear smoothing effect. Um, a lot of small scale structures have been switched on spreading by the fusions. Now, so that's a kind of 3D view of that. Um, so now the, the question again is whether the size here is the size of that. So we, we try to extract the structure in the same way that we did in the previous run. And we have been disappointed by the rollers, which I think is, um, is intermediate between no and yes. Uh, so, I would say it's inconclusive at the moment. So, this is the distribution of the filament in the IDR plate, which is kind of, you know, the core of the 
so this is what I can say. It's, it's a difficult issue. It will be even more difficult to be dealing with very, very large considerations. Um, let me skip that. And then finally, I wanted to discuss an economic that's called the issue of the relative transfer. Again, I tried to do that, so I will do the steps to make it gray in this edition. Still, it's a difficult problem. We have to make it easy, which means to be a year of cost that the CPU will fit. And that's just one. That's just great. And essentially, the size of the CPU required will be more or less kept with the number of good you have. So you see the difficulty. And um, the important effect which uh, we find is that the, uh, the treating simultaneously the MSD and the variety of feedback is more than having them in the okay? Also, they are not saying operating on the equation, they try to do interact in an interesting, interesting way. The reason is because you the basic bracket, which extracts your internal momentum. Uh, and therefore, you focus the matters on a single point, so the vibration rate is not any higher, and therefore, your feedback is not any higher because the feedback is proportional to the vibration to the object. And therefore, as you see here, temperature is that is uh, in the MHD case and in the IV case because it's so much. Interpretation the tool, and this makes the problem uh, difficult to get to treat the mentally. If you have not enough resolution, you very easily underestimate the magnitude roughly, which uh, to get it right, you need to treat extremely uh, stiff pseudo disks, which have a very small uh, thickness, and uh, if you use the gradient, you will reduce the magnitude roughly, and, and therefore you may get. The sort of artificial formulations, uh, if you have a here in the server, is to be uh, by using the cloud console, is this one. Okay. So there are issues of that, um, that's what typically is going to be the intent of the CPU. Um, um, so I'm going to switch to that. And I'm just wanted to show the impact that this effect has on my stars. Um, and the, the issue with, with massive stars is that uh, if you deal with pure atomic physics, you may just fragment uh, your massive cores in, in many, many small times rather than a few big ones. If you uh, have both the magnetic field and the rapid feedback, then this effect will operate so your core will be much more uh, than what you would have otherwise. And as you see, it's sort of having silence that you will have in the normal case, you will have um, my, my point. Just like to point out that if you again want to, uh, to deal with uh, these two effects and having the resolution, uh, the sufficient resolution, you are again back to extremely demanding problem which on the other hand do not scale well. So that's a bit tricky. Okay? You like to have many speed that you can't because you know that you don't have any issues. And here I like to stress that if you if there is not enough resolution in your problem, so if you treat this this, this problem with two post resolution, then what will happen is that you may uh, you may manage this few objects in a single one if you have a big thing on the ground. And, and therefore, you may sort of miss these early fragmentations, which will then quickly have very high uh, consequences because instead of having a three or four accreting sites, you will just have one big accreting site which will have a higher feedback and with that much further fragmentation. So, again, that's an important problem where you uh, make a resolution is extremely important to, to get. It. Um, so that's for the explanation of keeping that. And that's the sort of continuation of the problem resolution of the distance. If you are only uh, feeling the final case or the magnetic case, you see a lot of difference because of this sort of magnetically focusing effect. So, in conclusion, um, well, 
as as it has already been said, Foundation introduced this kind of physics problems at all scales that we clearly need for very very large studies and for many reasons. Uh, and balancing the very severe issues in particular in the context of the climate, so it's really hard to put something to And uh, more specifically, so now that the LMHD, I think, is now more or less and less available, it may have severe consequences in the future of the climate. And uh, 